What's good everyone, it's your boy Salos, back in with another Fire Emblem Heroes video, and today we have a very interesting bear that I was not expect to be hyped for. But actually before we get to the main event, let's um I'm actually very good about this Tempest Trials because they've been doing a very good job with Tempest Trial lately, so let me just go ahead and read this. On your guard, Fionn. Most Bill has revealed himself. And with him, his champion. Oh, this is her first time seeing. Oh, this is her first time meeting Legion. Well, after death, at least. P Princess Legion? But you. Hello, Fjorn. Fjorn, use my power to defeat her. I, I can't. Kill Nip. Kill Niffle's defender, dog. As long as I have you under my control, you have no you have no choice but to do as I command. I hope you understand that by now. <laughs> I, uh, forgive me, Lady Niffle, but I cannot bring myself to fight her. Fight or fight or die. She is under Moosebill's curse and cannot resist his command. She, until she is released from Moosebill's control, she has no choice but to do as she, as he bids. Oh no, then, Princess Legion, please listen. I have no wish to fight you. Forgive me, Princess Fjorn. I cannot resist him. I won't be able to stop myself. I am unable to take my own life. I must kill you. You have to fight me, Fjorn. You have to kill me. If you don't, I will be forced to kill you. No, there must be some other way. I had the same hope, but I could see no way for us both to survive this. One of us has to die. But I... Ready yourself, Fjorn. Oh, this is so, okay, so on the off chance that some of you guys aren't playing heroes, I'm sorry that you hear the back, that noise in the background, but on the off chance that some of you guys have been keeping track with what happened at the end of book two, so the way the book two ended is that um, Princess Legion, the champion of, of Moosebill, was an enemy general of the nation um yeah mooseville yeah they named after after their god mooseville and the um niffle's champion fjorm the um princess of niffle she um they were at war with each other and they were generals of their armies and niffle won the war against mooseville and as a result they took princess legion captive but she had managed to break, break free, blah, 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 plot happened. And the end of that, she ended up dying. But in her dying breath, that she said that she wished that things could have been different and that they could have been friends because she saw that, well, Moose Bells was a piece of trash. <laughs> and that she said that maybe if we were born on, on the same side, we could have been good friends. So, and she just died. That, that's literally, that was sort of literally her last words. So now that she has a second chance at life, she wants to make that a reality, but she's being forced to kill her and this person that she now sees as pretty much like a sister. So it's kind of it's kind of bittersweet, but the real reason I came here is because my girl my girl is free. And I know people have some gripes about this about freaking um shamir being a free unit but it is what it is i mean there are people like me out there who just thought that you know they, I'm, i have no attachment to, to ninja hannah and it's always it's all i always say this i always say this that build your favorites because if you build a character if you build a character with like just for like arena purposes or like scoring purposes they will get power crept. But if they're your favorite character, who cares if they get power crept? They're your favorite character. 
So I have no attachment to Hannah. So I know the Ninja Hannah hype was was huge. She's an amazing unit. She's an amazing carry. People use her as super tanks and aether raids and arena. She can be, she can literally do anything. But I didn't care because I have no attachment to Hannah. So it's whatever. But now that Shamir is here, I'm the same. Like Shamir is like I forgot what playthrough I wife her in. But I, I, she was my actual wife in one of my Three Houses runs, and I cannot have been. I think it was my, was it my first run? I think it was my first run that. Yeah, 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 it was my first run that I made her my um, waifu. So, yeah, this is literally my first Three Houses waifu. So, <laughs> I'm just so happy that she's here, but we're not here to talk about Tempest Trials or that conference university. We're here to summon. And I know I'm doing a lot of a lot of um, housekeeping before this actual summoning session starts, but for for you guys on YouTube, this is my first time actually streaming it. Well, I'm not streaming. I said streaming. It's my first time actually recording it. But what happened last Ninja Banner is a really big upset because I wanted one copy of Ninja of Ninja Lin. I ended up getting fifty. 15 copies of Ninja Z Hark. And that kind of works out because Ninja Z Hark is a 180 BST um, sword unit, so he's been like my carry sword unit in Arena for a long time now. But the thing is, this year's demote is Corn. Now, I do like Corn. I know people, I like female Corn. But male corn is an actual loser. Like I may, I may or may not play some voice clips. Of, but like every time, like it all started with Smash. Cause I, I'm a um, competitive Smash Bros. player. So when I saw him in Smash Four, like the whole, <laughs> like his voice is so annoying. Male corn is such a loser. <laughs> Okay, like that's why I just like female corn significantly more, and I think that I just think that that just the like corn's personality. Well, yes, corn has her personality. Fight me on that, and like even like in Smash, like how she it's like a graceful dance. I'm not saying that men can't be graceful, but it looks just so much more elegant on female corn and corn and male corn is just like a loser. But what whatever. I, point is, I don't like male corn at all. So. If this is like if anything, if this is anything like last year, I'm going to freaking. Uh, I do not want to. I, if I get 11 male corns, I will plus 10 him, and I will try because he does have special spiral, and that's some good fodder. So if I see blues, I will take it. But if I get 11 freaking male corns, this is this is my bet to you all. I don't care if you guys see this or not. This is my bet that if I get 11 male corns and 200 orbs. I will make a male Corrin smash montage and I will drop female Corrin as, well, not, I'm, I'm not, let me not go over more because it might happen. I will, I will make male Corrin my permanent alt for Smash Brothers Ultimate. For the rest of Smash Brothers Ultimate, I cannot use female Corrin anymore. I will use male Corrin, I will make a male Corrin montage. And I will even make a separate video, an apology video to Melkor for all the bashing I've ever done to him and why he is actually a good and wh why he is actually a pretty decent um, male counterpart to the female version. You know, in theory, anyway. But that's not going to happen. So we're not going to get 11, uh, we're not gonna get 11 Melkorns, okay? So now you guys see what's at stake here. You guys see what's at stake here. So let's start summoning, okay? Okay. So. <laughs> Oh god, we're already starting a great start, I see. We're gonna start with colorless because I don't know, like Okay, uh it would have been nice to get um Nabata right there. Uh, nin ninja Nabata, but we're gonna get Chad. Chad yeah, Chadwick Bolsman. Rest in peace, man. It's actually it's actually funny because I don't is, is, I, I I feel like I I'm I feel like I'm this might come off wrong. Okay, every blue of my heart skips a jump because I do want a male corn, but I'm already committed to it, so I can't back out now. But it's 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 okay. But I feel like people are gonna take this the wrong way, but I don't care. But 
I don't know if you guys remember doing the whole Marvel, um, uh, my heart, I'm telling you guys, my heart is skipping a beat every time I see a silhouette. But okay, I just gotta calm down. I, I do want Milkorn, like I said. I do want him for the special spiral fodder. So I shouldn't be this nervous. But it, you guys don't understand. Like Ninja Z Hark. Ooh. We got a man. We, I said, <laughs> you guys don't understand how paranoid I am. We got Hector, Daddy Hector. This is actually a pretty interesting fact that you guys might not know about my Hectors. I've actually gotten, I could have like a plus five, plus six Brave Hector. And I know Brave Hector became a god. But I have this very specific team setup where I use um, all the Binding Blade units. Oh, I mean, my, all the Blazing Sword units. So, oh wow, Hector followed by Elliewood. Isn't that like a nice little bromance? But the team setup is is Ninian, um, Legendary Elliewood, Brave Hector, and Brave Lynn. And it is, and if you guys don't know how, um, how, how, um, what's his name? If you guys don't know how Legendary Elliewood works, he grants a bonus doubler to, to the highest attack stat ally on your team. But if your attack stats match, then he will grant it to all of them. So if all of your attack stats are like 50 across the board, then he will grant bonus double to everyone on your team. So what I do is that I have it set up to a way where, where Brave Lynn and Brave Hector have the same attack stat. And it is very specific. Like Lynn has like six dragon flyers, Hector has like eight. And it's like so specific, he's unmerged. But I don't want to merge them because if I do, that will throw off the attack stats and then I can't run that setup anymore. So it's a very weird situation as to why I'm not merging my Brave Hector, even though if, I'm, if I do, I'll, I'll literally just win the game. But it's a very interesting choice, but I, I just enjoy using the three, lords, the three Lords plus Ninian. It's just a fun team to use. There's actually a video here on YouTube of that, of that actual team. I think it's against Abyssal Claude, and you guys can see that team in action. It's actually a very good team. So I don't really want to mess with, it with the synergy. I might, ha I might, um, I might do like like a, a Thorn in, in the Unisim to see how I can merge it because my the, the Lin is actually pretty merged up, but the Hector I'm just scared to touch. So back to what I was saying about. Um, I, I actually didn't forget this time. Haha, I have a very ha bad habit in these so many sessions to just ramble to figure what I was talking about, but I remember this time. So, there was, w w um, there's this thing back in the Marvel movies where when Black Panther came out, and I get it, I get it. Like, there are not very many black superheroes. Like, we have War Machine, who was freaking amazing, by the way. We have um, we have Hancock, if you want to count him. We have Blade, who's coming back to the MCU, which I'm very hyped for. But overall, generally speaking, there are not there are not that many black superheroes out here. So I, when we got Black Panther and like his like he has like like, a, like an African background, black people had the right to pop off. Okay. I'm not trying to take that away from, from us, but I, my, my, and you shouldn't take that away from anyone who's, who's excited for that sense. Like, we have waited a long time for a black superhero to see someone that looks like us on screen. So people were excited. People were dressing up in like their um, African attires. People were saying we're supporting it um, in the black community. People were hyping it up. We were, it was a good time. But... Black people can't let people have anything because it extended out into like this whole thing where it's like only black people can enjoy Black Panther. If you're not black, don't watch it. Like I, I had so many friends of just saying that they didn't, that like they they want like it's like Black Panther looks like, looks like such a cool character, but I'm not going to be watching it because I feel like I can't. So I'm just gonna run on DVD. I was like, oh, 
And is there a red on this banner? There's there's Sheenon. Do I want Dead Eye? I don't really, I don't really want Dead Eye. I'm good. But it's it was one of those things where it's just like I get you're excited, but don't let your excitement trample on the people who want to enjoy it too. You don't have to be black to like Black Panther, okay? This like that really irked me a lot. And I promise this is going somewhere because Go on all that say, my family bought into that hype. And my family, like, I had to, like, as a kid, I had to beg them to go watch Marvel movies. When Avengers came out, I was like, Mom, Dad, please go take me to Avengers. Please go take me. Okay, maybe not my dad. Because my dad is a, is the, um, he's a Star Wars fan, a Star Wars nerd and all that. So me and him, we, we saw, like, a lot of movies together. But to get the entire family to go see a Marvel movie, it was like, no. <laughs> it was like, just no. So, the fact that my parents hit me up on a random weekend, and they're like, hey, let's go watch Black Panther, and make sure you wear your African attire and whatnot, I was like, okay, um, we don't, we, we have we ever wore Af African attire, uh, we're not even from Africa, but okay, <laughs> okay, so, I'm saying all this to say is that they bought into the hype. Fast forward to this Thanksgiving, and you know, Chazwick Boseman, um, rest in peace, my man. He was a he. I and I do respect um, Marvel's decision to not recast him. That I thought that was very honorable of them to do. But I was like, you you guys do know that Chadwick Boseman had one final piece. They're like, really? What was it? I was like, it's in this. It was it's in a uh, mini series called What If, and he's not playing Black Panther. But he's like doing like some voice work for for this for another character within the Marvel universe, and this is like the last time we'll ever get to hear something from him. So if you guys want to watch it? And then it's only like like a twenty minute episode. It's, it was pretty funny too. I, I highly recommend watching it. But it was, the episode was called "What If um, T'Challa Became Star Lord," and we are doing terrible right now. Oh my god. We have not gotten a single... Well, I guess we got Hector, but... 100 orbs in, and absolutely nothing. Wow. I guess we're not gonna have to... Actually, this is fine. This is fine. Because now, there is no possible way... Unless we get, like, stupid lucky right here... There is no way we can get a plus 10 male corn. So, F you male corn... You ain't getting my main. You ain't getting my apology letter, okay? This is a win-win for me because I don't gotta make a video talking about why male corn is superior corn, but he's a freaking loser. I don't gotta drop female corn as my main. I don't gotta do nothing for male corn. He is a loser. He he smells. He stinks with this stupid flamboyant. Okay, that's gonna piss someone off. <laughs> let me not. Let me not go that far. Um. Yeah. Let's just, let's just ignore that last little part I said. I don't want to get canceled out here. But I don't got to do nothing for you, male corn. You can go rot in the corner for all I care. I don't care if you're the most if you're the most plus 10 unit for Aether Rays for being a good support unit. I don't care, okay? But um, female corn, it would be very, very lovely if you could um, come home right about now. But I was saying... I was saying, uh, did, I, did I get to that thought? So, but yeah, yeah. I was saying that that um, for Chadwick Boseman, I was saying we we should go watch it. They're like, eh. They just kind of rubbed off the comment. They like, I don't think they even said yes or no. They just kind of rubbed it off and just like, well, let's see what else is on TV. And then they just they just went to this other show. It was actually kind of funny. It was, which again, it just shows like just um, black culture, I guess, but. It was a, it was a, it was like this, like this um, reality TV show of this white family that moved to, into a black neighborhood. It was actually pretty funny, but that just shows like the kind of shows that my family likes to watch. So, there are like, I was like, really y'all gonna be those guys? Okay, okay. But I don't know why I went on that whole rant. I know I pulled Chad. I know that's what started it, and, and there's a weird hype around Chad. Like, Chad the unit. Chad the fighter the FE6 unit. And I didn't understand it. Like, can, 
did any of you guys actually plus 10 shad because or do you guys remember that period because there was a period where everyone was hyping up chad to be this amazing dagger hero and i was like what are y'all smoking and where can i get some because chad i mean he has an all right stat spread i mean i, I think it was like 34 30 and he's like decently fast or something like that i mean he doesn't have a bad stat spread but it was just like really y'all hyping up chad okay okay I mean, I guess I'll go for Booba Ninja. If that's all I get, if all I get is um, Ninja Nevada, I keep calling her Nevada. Uh, Hawkeye. If I get Hawkeye followed by Hawkeye's daughter, this will be amazing. Sarah, you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that pity breaker. Minus attack because she has return. She has return dazzling staff. Joint drive res, which no one uses, so that's fine. I guess we'll go ahead and fill ourselves the circle. And now I actually didn't lose my train of thought. Oh yeah, um, if I if I got Hawkeye followed by um, Ninja Nabata, I keep saying Ninja Nabata. It's just so that's a fun, that's a fun word to say. Say it, Ninja Nabata, Ninja Nabata, Ninja Nabata, Ninja Nabata. It's just a fun word to say, but. Um, a green, which I do, I feel bad for a green because everyone just killed her off for special spiral, and now that special spiral is free, but I am doing terrible in this banner. Like, what is going on? I mean, we've gotten some five stars, but Jesus, this is the complete opposite of last year. I guess I bashed male corn so hard that he he just he just took the whole festival with them. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. If we don't get anyone right now, that is fine. You know why? Because he can't cut me from Shamir because Shamir is free. And as soon as this is, as soon as I'm, as soon as I'm done summoning, I am going all the way in, and he can't stop me because I'm going to plus ten Shamir, and I'm going to deck her out and make her my carry. I'm joining the Hannah hype train, but I'm using it with Shamir. You know, you just became obsolete. I hope you know that, Marth. Because Legendary Marth is a monster now. He he became Fallen Ike, basically. Minus speed. What, what's your fodder again? I forget. Oh, Distant Pressure. Distant Pressure's burn. And even Tempest. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a good fodder. I'm not going to merge him up, because I, I, no, I have no reason to, have a, to make a Marth. My god, that's fine. Hey! Ninja Nevada. But I, I, yeah, I feel so bad. Please be good IVs. If you're a good IV, I won't be mad. Hey! Nice! Perfect IVs! Let's go! And I actually actually did use a green in my in my playthrough. My my two main archers were a green and Klein. And I, I really should I don't know why I haven't made a plus 10 Klein. Because he's actually a really good arena unit. He's like that one arena unit that no one talks about. But Klein is actually pretty freaking amazing. He's good for PvE because he's uh, he has a, a um, legendary brave bow, and he can run like triple triple chills. So he's he's a great cheerleader for arena to just debuff to help your bones. You know, you get the kills. He makes good use of um, C dual four. Like Klein is very good at Bay, and no one talks about him. I, I might I might actually plus. Oh my god, this is perfect. I was just thinking the other day. That how much I wanted, free, how much I wanted um, Surge Barrel. I forgot who I wanted to give it to. I wanted to give it to someone, but I was just thinking that I wanted Surge Barrel, and now I get Brave Erica. Nice. We got two Brave units. This ain't the Ninja Banner. This is the Brave Banner. <laughs> like what? 
I, I, I was afraid this is gonna happen. Um, let's let's go ahead and send some units home. This won't take too long. Um, Rebecca, Lachesis. Lachesis is, is a unit that's, that's always annoyed me because she has a great voice. She has an amazing voice. Like if, if you ever listen to, oh, I, don't, I don't think um, people do like the, like the launch units. I don't, I don't think like the launch units are on YouTube for their voice lines. But if you guys can find Lachesis' voice lines, or if you just have her in your barracks, just, just listen to them. She has a very, very good voice, but it is not a fitting voice for the her art. Like I, I get like it fits her character because she's like this this um like this this um this hardcore woman who don't need no man to feel to fulfill her life. And her voice fits her personality from what I've heard from her personality at least. It fits her perfectly. But when you look at her art in Faye, it's like I'm not there was a time there was a time in the period where I was gonna post it in Iliana. You know what? I'm not I'm not uh, I might still plus 10 her. I doubt it, but just on the off chance I do. Let's send you home. But it's just, it's just so off-putting because I want to like her. I really want to like Lachesis, but that, that art, man, it, it, it throws me off every single time. I'll just talk about Klein, so let me go ahead and manual him. Let's manual Ferdinand von Eyer and put all these Ilianas in the box. I'm doing all this like I'm like I'm actually gonna summon this anymore. I'm pretty sure we're near the end of the summoning session, but I'm just doing some some house cleaning anyway. I'll do some more. That should be enough to get us to the summoning session. But let's go ahead. We only, we only have like literally like two more summons, but that's fine. And it was even more fun is that I don't, I, you guys don't know about, I, I was so nervous to make that bet because, oh, hey, we get another Amelia. You guys seen this firsthand, right? You guys are seeing this firsthand. Everyone's saying, nah, that's, that's cap sales. You don't, there's no way you get the same five stars every single time. Y'all thought I was capping. No, this just, I don't know why or how. But literally the very last summoning session I posted, I got an Amelia, and I got another Amelia just now. Oh my god. We got two boobas. <laughs> what? Oh my god. We got two. This one's completely neutral. Does she have fodder? Oh, she has... She has Sea Duel flying! Yo, that's perfect! Because I have that plus 10 Leanne. I have Leanne that I can use it on, and I might actually um, build up Crusader Nana. That's that's really good. So I can use one, and I can fodder one, because she's perfect IV, so I don't need to merge her. Oh my god, that is perfect. This, this is this is fine. Okay, Corn, you can come home now. I need some special spiral. I know I bashed you, but come come on, come on, be the little the little bottom you are. Come on home. You know you want to. Not you, Corn. You're not a bottom. You're a queen. I'm talking about your lesser male counterpart. Just, I, I, I know he's hiding in there. Just drag him by the ear, and and just let me get my special spiral fodder. I don't want him anyway. <laughs> but the, but like I was saying, you guys thought I was capping that I, I get all these. Um, like there's no way you get this many um ran, random um. Four stars, instant, I mean five star pity breakers in, sus in succession. Like people did not believe me that I didn't pull for Leanne. But what banners could I have pulled on? Answer that question for me. What banners on Leanne could I, could I have possibly pulled on? Ally group merge. There are there, like she literally was not on any. See, look at all these hexers I have. Look at all these hexers I have. I could very easily. And I, I fought a few of them. I could very easily have a merge up Hector and just to win the game. But it's because of that very specific team comp that I haven't. And help Bendy. And help Bendy. You just made me, just made me sad. I was really hoping he was going to get a good refine, but his refine is very underwhelming. Like, I, I think his refine is that he has Wary Fighter. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure the refine is wary fighter. Wait, now that I think about it, I could give Amelia um, distant pressure. Distant, yeah, I could, I could just give. No, that's not, that's not a good fighter path. That's not a good idea. All right, but I think his like, like I was saying with Hellbendy, he was the one I was most. Because as you guys saw, I have how many Hellbendies I have. I could have like a plus. I think it's a plus three Hellbendy. That would be. But I really wanted him to be good. I really wanted to make him, and but like the situational Omni Wave buff, it's it's not situational. It's just it's just um, on odd number turns, I believe. It's it's a, I think that was Lori the weapon that it's an, that he gets um, plus five to all stats on odd turns, wary fighter, and he gets like a little more attack, and that's about it. But if that's what you want, I, like I, I just recommend my friend to build Faye because she 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 just started off um, not 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 Faye the game, um, not Final the Heroes, Faye the the chicken, which I just I actually just finished making a theme battle for that. Well, um, Ethun versus Faye, I I was so close to solving solving it on Abyssal, and I was gonna do it on Abyssal because I have oh my. For a second there, I thought that was Leanne. I was about to say, there is no way I got another Leanne. I am so sick of Leanne. But I was, I was like, there's, I was like, I have a plus 10 Ethan. There is no way I can't beat this. And I got so freaking close, but I just couldn't kill Faye. I literally could not kill Faye because Ethan is, is red. Faye is green and the only, like, I was. I'm not using Roy because uh, Roy, just, Roy just dies. You, I'm not gonna spoil the video, but it's Ellie Wood that's that's leading the army, not Roy. But you guys have to watch the video to see why I used Ellie Wood versus Roy. But it's. I I think I think it was a pretty good video. All right, we have one last chance, and we get nothing. Well. Let's go for Dead Eye. 200 orbs and not a single male corn. We didn't get female corn either. But that's fine. That's fine. I'll, I'll take I'll take the L. If it, if it means I don't gotta make an apology over the you know, for male corn. It, it, you know, you know why female corn didn't come? Because she is a good friend. She knows that she knows her, her male counterpart's a loser. She knows it. So but she's so nice that she'll never admit it. You, you, you know those people that are, that are like really sweet, they're always nice, but they'll, they're too nice to tell you the truth? She's that person, so she stuck by his side because she knew I was speaking facts, but she didn't want to hurt his feelings and, come, and leave him in the dust and then come home to me to prove my point that, I, that she's superior. She stayed behind to comfort him by saying, I know he's a loser, but he's my loser. He's my other self. So she, she stood behind, she stood by him, and that's fine. But I got two Ninja Nabatas, so that's, that's gonna be fine with me. But with that, I, I am about to head about because it is like it's going on four o'clock in the morning. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna try to finish editing that video for, for the Fae, which I, I I am so sad I couldn't do that on Abyssal because I had a plus 10 Ithune. I know people are going to be like, wow, use a plus 10 unit to do it in the Inferno. But look, it's not about the difficulty. It's about the content. I wanted to make the video itself. I don't really care about how difficult or easy the fight was, okay? I could have done it. I literally just couldn't kill Faye. But outside of that, I'm about to get up out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked it, please like the video. And until then... Like I said, I, I'm working on a very special video. I'm working, if, if you guys know me, like I said, I play Smash Bros. competitively. You know what just happened. You know the last DLC. You know me at all. You can probably put two and two together. I have a very special video coming. I'm not rushing it. It comes, it's going to come out when it comes out. I want this video to be very high quality. I want it to be my best work yet. So I am not rushing it whatsoever. No one's going to pressure me. 
there's one person in particular who's really trying to pressure me, but I, I am not rushing it. I am taking my time with it. I'm making sure that, that everything is according to plan, exactly how I envision in my head, because I want this to come out perfectly. I want to do this so much justice, and I hope you guys will tune in for that. But until then, well, if I, not until then, because there will, there will, there will, there will definitely be more, more videos until that, but that one comes out. But until then, I'm about to get up out. And with 